vocalist, singer, songwriter, musician, I guess. I came here for the first time when I was 15 and I instantly loved it. I was just new from the moment that I like stepped foot off the plane that like this was the place for me to, to settle and make my music and live and work and yeah. really kind of quite interesting they're um, like being black especially they're so connected to their African culture so everyone always asks me like where are you from in Africa and I'm like I have no idea <laughs> but um, I definitely definitely prefer it being here I just feel so much more comfortable and in, in a way that I never felt growing up especially being from a place like Oregon which is primarily white and not as diverse as a place like this which is really comforting Chest to chest, now we're face to face. I wanna take you away. Let's escape. Um, so I started posting TikToks right in the middle of the pandemic. I think now I have like 50, a little over 50,000 followers, something like that. And I think my most viewed one, it almost got to like a million views, which is like crazy to me. It was like, yeah, I kind of try to imagine all those people fitting in a room and it just blows my mind that like all of them have heard my voice and some of them like it, it's crazy. I have kind of a small band at the moment. I have a guitarist, a bassist, and a drummer. My drummer is called Jake, and my bassist is called Matt, and my guitarist is called Connor. They're like the sweetest, most amazing, most hardworking guys on the planet. I feel like I got really lucky because here at college they got really busy very fast, and somehow they wanted to work with me. We met in Freshers, so it was September 2021. When I first got my offer for uni, I figured out who was in my year and uh, found Naya's profile and already saw that she was like making a lot of moves on Spotify, having like really big numbers and listening to her album like before and I love listening to her. I've been lucky enough to play with her for seven months now or so and I think it's been great. I think it's really helpful with this band that we get along super well. That in itself kind of removes the nervousness. So like before a gig we'll be all together in the, wherever we are and we'll just have a laugh and make this situation very chill. Try and have a good time and not take things too seriously. It's not really like a job at all, even though on paper I guess it is. It's an absolute joy to work with Naya. It's, it's like a band of friends playing music that they love, even though Naya wrote it and released it like two years ago. And I just get to have loads of fun with my friends. Younger, like when I was six and when I first started out, I always wanted to be Selena Gomez. I was obsessed with her when I was six, it was disgusting. But I wanted to like be like a Disney Channel star, pop star, Taylor Swift, like the most famous person in the entire world. And now, as like I've gotten older throughout the years, I have these little goals that I want to attain. Like I would obviously love to win a Grammy, but I would also love to do NPR's Tiny Desk. That's like my biggest goal for some reason. So it's kind of funny that like my biggest goal is something that's kind of relatively small to some people. But I feel like now I don't really, I don't feel the need to be the biggest pop star in the entire world. I just kind of want to make really good music and have people appreciate it. for other aspiring brown artists um, to not take anyone's shit, I guess. You really have to be resilient in this industry, especially being a woman of color. Um, yeah, and you work with a lot of men. I'm constantly working with men that are like 20 years older than me. And you just need to learn how to um, how to speak up for yourself. I've got time in my 